New information about that unforgettable helicopter crash at Pearl Harbor Thursday. We now know that the pilot radioed air traffic controllers to say his craft was in trouble. There were five people on board, including a family of four. They all survived, but a 15-year-old boy was listed in critical condition at a hospital. The survivors have a large group of tourists and good Samaritans to thank. Among them, a Rancho Cordova couple who played a critical role in helping the teenage boy and his mother. As Case Earthy Sharik Shams tells us, Thus, this couple was uniquely qualified to help. It's an unforgettable image. As a helicopter carrying five people plunged into the water at Pearl Harbor Thursday, Juan and Alicia Valerio, who watched the crash from shore, rushed to help the victims. I swam out to the helicopter, and one by one, the uh, people, the passengers started popping up. Juan is a Navy veteran and a scuba diver. He helped a woman to shore. Her son was still trapped inside the helicopter. There was nothing more terrifying than hearing her scream at top of lungs that her son, I mean, she told me he has so much to live for. Please help him. Alicia is a critical care nurse. Once the teenager was freed from the chopper, she and others took turns performing CPR on the boy. Everybody was, was helping and Everybody um, didn't, didn't care about their safety. They just helped this, these people out. The Rancho Cordova couple was on vacation in Hawaii with their two sons. They have come home with an unforgettable story. If that was me, me and my family, I would hope somebody would come out and help us. The wreckage was pulled from the water yesterday. What the Valerios had wanted their sons to see on Thursday is the Arizona Memorial. Instead, 12-year-old Benjamin says he saw his parents in a new light. It made me really proud of my parents. I, I'm going to look up more to them now because of what just happened. A memory no one could have planned, one they'll never forget. In Rancho Cordova, Sharkna Shams, KCRA 3 News.